I'm a little bit somber about our presence today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure for me in a nearly 40 year career to be able to be a part of something like this that we've never been able to do before, have never been able to, uh, have never done before, and very likely one of the few state police agencies in the country that have engaged with a local community like this. I have great respect for this city, and I have even greater respect for its people. And I hope that over the course of this period of time that we've been able to accomplish some good and have maybe left it a little bit better than we found it. That was certainly the goal. First and foremost, I know the superintendent just said he was the luckiest uh, man on this earth. I'd, I'd reckon that we'd be running across that finish line together because I am truly humbled and grateful for this opportunity. You know, we often talked uh, throughout all of our staff uh, discussions about doing something bigger than ourselves, being willing to get outside of our own comfort zones and take personalities and, and uh, those types of things out of the equation and make sure we're doing the right thing at the right time for the right reasons, even when people don't understand or ain't not even looking at us. Let it not be lost on us here, guys, that Governor Holcomb, without hesitation, when the superintendent and myself approached him on this concept, without hesitation uh, gave his, his unwavering support to this mission. And it wasn't just the state police. It was whatever resources that could be brought uh, to the city of Gary and to my community here that I still call home today, that was what was, what was brought to the table. It started with the acknowledgement that we needed some assistance here, right? And so uh, from that, everyone has a perspective of what's needed. And, you know, most, if you ask, would suggest that it's just about a chief. And, and, and certainly while that's important, uh, as exemplified or dis demonstrated by Chief Williams, it's important, as the superintendent mentioned, to have that structure. So a couple of years ago, Deputy Mayor and I started this conversation about things that we could do to add value to not only the city, but the Gary Police Department. And through that conversation, it didn't take very long to know that uh, the best route for the assistance and the type of assistance and the level of assistance we needed would come from outside sources. And for 31 years, I've worn the same patch every single day. Uh, I am a product of the city of Gary. Um, some in the room may get offended, but I'm a graduate of the best high school. <laughs> Roosevelt High School. Uh, Roosevelt High School, yes. So you already knew that part, right? Uh, what we have seen and heard about today is what collaboration looks like, what the process of, as Chief Williams has said, doing something bigger than yourself looks like. For us to get the governor's office, the Lake County prosecutor's office, the Indiana State Police, and we haven't mentioned excise police, ATF, DEA, FBI, U.S. Marshals Service, to all say, yeah, we've already been doing things for the city of Gary, but let's see if we can do something bigger. Uh, so men and women, I thank you for that. I thank you for that time. I thank you for your knowledge. We are law enforcement professionals, and we will continue to move in a professional manner. But our footing today is so much surer than I believe it has been in a number of years.